notice anything different with Chris now that maybe this is his time with Darren Young? I mean, Chris Worthy has always been a worker every year that I've been here, so I haven't really noticed anything different. But yeah, it's, all, it's definitely a bigger opportunity because Darren is gone. Uh, I'm not saying that he couldn't have been in the field when he was here, but you know, it's definitely a lot of more a lot more opportunity now that he's gone, and I feel like he I feel like he's taking advantage of it. Darren said that last year they didn't think there'd be a big drop off in the first year. Do you, do you see that as well? Is he capable of providing the same sort of lift for you guys out there? Yeah, most definitely, man. Uh, through our spring last year, we didn't really know who was going to be the starter. Well, my freshman year, we really didn't, didn't know who was going to be starting. But at the uh, start of the season, Darren got the nod of the hat, and he was gone from there. Who's the haircut? Somebody's got, got a haircut. Oh, I, got a, I got a haircut yesterday, man. Kind of uh, a new look for me. Going Are you on, taking after Josh? Well, I thought it was yeah. just a hat you were wearing. Nah, just taking it up, uh, taking it up to Josh Pierre, I guess. How much are the linebackers going to have to step up and kind of be the glue between the, the secondary and the, and the line? Being that everybody, there's a lot of positions open, and you guys have to kind of lead that defense. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot of opportunity around us, you know. And we have the most stable group because we have a lot of older guys: like Joe Berger, me, Fader, uh, Chris Worley, Dante Booker. <laughs> With a lot of older guys, you have more jail. And so communication between us has to permeate through the whole defense.